what I have realized over the year working with multiple people, multiple company, different work environment, different group members, different team set where you don't feel comfortable with your fellow team member, but you have to work. We all have one thing in common, no matter which culture you come from, which ethnicity you have, which background you have, color of your screen is, we all have this common that we are ready to throw our opinion without having a proper background. And that's the biggest problem what I can see at the moment in every single sector. As an individual, we have this problem. I have seen recently many students are very eagerly ready to claim that this is good, this is bad. And this is the comment which I have got. I'm not here to demotivate him or put him down, but I'm just telling you that this is what exactly happening among the new developer. So right now, it's very easy to make a statement regarding anything, no matter what the subject is, what's your background is, what kind of level or skill you have about that particular subject on which you are throwing your opinion. If you are not good, if you're not comfortable with the thing, it doesn't mean that it's not good. Others should not follow that. That's not the case. You lack the skills, you lack the opportunity, you don't have a proper experience in that. That's why you are criticizing. Nothing is bad. Everything is there in the industry, whether you talk about personal or professional. Whatever exists at the moment, it has some value. It has contributed some level of in the progress of the technology. So you cannot claim that it's a waste of time. Like this now, this particular student said that Solana is a waste of time. Every single thing is hard to do on Solana. Even a simple swap will take forever to implement and get it work. No, it's not that. Even Solana is a very fast blockchain where you can make the transaction very quickly. If you don't know how to build, that's your problem. The technology is not bad. You can see the recent growth in the Solana ecosystem, the kind of project it got. Recently, it's passed a billion dollar market cap. So you can't say it's a bad technology. You don't know this. You don't have the skill. That's why you are saying it. I'm not here to demotivate you or criticize your opinion. Yeah, you feel it's up to you. But before you make this kind of statement, you have to do your research. You don't have the skills to build this kind of tools, this kind of software. You have to focus on your skill. You have to learn the thing. Right now, the materials are limited. I do agree with that. The materials are limited. You have to find the right resources which help you to develop any application. If you can't do that, it doesn't mean the technology is bad. Please come out of this mindset. In this way, you will have a very hard time in the industry. You're going to have a tough time working with your fellow developer. Because this mindset will not take you any further. You have to learn. This challenge is learning is challenging. You are learning something new. You are breaking your normal schedule and you are adding something into that. That's going to take effort. That's going to take research. That's going to take energy. So you have to be open minded. Every single thing has some good or bad. But it's up to you that what do you want to take it from that. You want to take the bad learning or a good learning. If you take the bad learning, you're going to live in the middle but if you're going to take the good learning you will try to understand the essential component of the technology it exists it means that it has some value it's providing some sort of contribution in the technology in the financial system that's why it exists that's why it's crossed one billion more so never ever see anything just like that that it's a waste of time waste of energy it's not good it's bad fairly new technology eventually it will grow it will have a lot of tools a lot of framework which will come if you know the technology how to develop application on that you can simply build it from that whatever we have at the anchor is a powerful framework if you want to develop any smart contract on the solana environment but if you don't know how to code in a solana code then that's not the problem of the technology that's the problem of your skill so you have to spend some time on this the reason why this question hit me hard because how could you say such a thing I'm not here to demotivate you, but I'm here to say that you can't make a statement just like this. If you like the skill, you have to accept that I don't have the skill. I don't have the proper knowledge. I don't have the right way to find a particular material which is required to build application, to build a feature which you want to develop in your application. You have to accept that I don't have the skills. Still, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Whatever I'm telling you based on my personal experience, based on the interaction with the developer which I have in the industry, I'm not an expert. I'm still learning every single day. I have to learn some new framework and I have to simply go through that. I have to understand that what it is. I have to read the documentation and I try to include in my project. If it's good for my project, I'll definitely include that. So I have to do the research for that. I can't sit at home and wait for a perfect technology roadmap, perfect tools. Everything would be well developed. Then I'm going to follow and that way you're going to be behind. Like those who will learn, put your effort at the moment, they will go in the long run. And that's why those who are good in Solana, they are getting a very good amount in their salary in the project. So this is the right time to invest, spend some time. You can't just watch a video and throw your opinion. It's a waste of time. Never ever do that. Otherwise, it's going to be a very tough time in the industry because in this mindset, you cannot able to scale yourself in any field. It's not limited to development. It's going to have the similar structure in your personal life, in your professional life. When you're going to talk with the people, when you're going to have a normal conversation in your family, in your, in your co-workplace, 
when you're going to share your idea and when you're going to make a bold statement just like this you end the conversation so you should be open to in a broader sense so you can take more knowledge from your from your surrounding that should be your goal never ever make your bold statement that's not your work we are a developer we are learning let's just leave that to the company if they need solana developer we're going to be a solana developer if they don't want solana developer we leave that solana developer we'll go to other technology we as a developer we need money and we get paid when we deliver our product our service so read the industry try to understand that what is happening in the actual world what type of projects are coming when you understand the industry you will understand that what exactly going to be happen what kind of tools and technology which you have to spend your time on so learn it learn it learn it so that's the only thing from mine hope you have understood never ever make your never ever make any kind of a statement just try to do your research build your roadmap if you feel comfortable follow it otherwise you can simply leave it and focus on different roadmap which is compatible with you which you think that is going to take you ahead in the industry is good for you have a wonderful day bye bye